Okay. Let's see. Okay, we are live. All right, let's sit you guys down here. Hopefully you can hear me. All right. Oh, there's Mama Swift. Hi, Mama Swift. Oh, and Sin. Hi, Sin. All right. Let's see. What should I start with first? Start with Atlanticus and the progress on Atlanticus. Hi, <laughs> Jan. Let's see. Yes, Atlanticus. Here we go. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm sideways because let's see. Hold on. I'll just unplug my phone then. All right. There we go. Alrighty. Hey, Kathy. Alright, so here is my progress so far on Atlanticus. And this is the beginning of, um, what do I want to say, part five, I think, or part four? Let's see. It's hard to tell sometimes. One, two, three, four, six? No, not six. Not part six, for sure. All right. I just hope I don't run out of yarn, which I don't think I will, but... That is Atlanticus. So that's in the Joe Tote bag. Hi, Sin, and hi, Cindy, and hi, Judy. Hi, Jojo. Okay. So that's that. Now. Next. Let's see. What have I got in here? Oh. Yes. Some yarn that I bought. I was in Alabama a couple times. Can't. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Love the bag. Thank you, Judy. So I was in Atlanta. Or not Atlanta. I was going to Atlanta and I met up with Jennifer and we did some shopping. Retail therapy. Yes. Very important retail therapy. So Hobby Lobby. What did I get? Hobby Lobby. My yarn bee. Sugar wheel. And it's called minted macaroon. Which doesn't make sense. It's not green. It's all blues. For hat, not hate. Woohoo, yarn. Yes, yarn, yarn, yarn. Ah, and then I got an I love this yarn. Which is blues. In the ombre. That was a it was a 30% off week, so. Oh, and then I couldn't resist. You know me in purples. Purples, purples. And that's the um pigment and fiber. <clears throat> the little little tiny little mini skeins. And this is called Lavender Days. The only thing is, correct me if I'm wrong, but this one here should go on the bottom don't we think ladies because it's light 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 you know light and then it jumps all the way to this and then it goes back to light i think if i when i work with it i'm going to flip flop these bottom two but ooh, it's so soft uh let's see this one is 60 percent acrylic 20 percent wool and 20 percent nylon Yes, it should, Jan said. <laughs> and Sin said, yep. So that was my small little Hobby Lobby yarn. Oh, and I have a tweed. 
that I bought too, a blue tweed that I worked with. So that was Hobby Lobby. This was when I was at Walmart shopping one day for groceries and I had to hit the uh, yarn aisle. Oh, Mandela Sparkle. Mandela Sparkle. And again, when I see but is that my Joe C D talking? I mean, if you're ombre, you have to ombre, right? You can't just jump around all willy nilly. I mean, I don't think it's a <laughs> like. I mean, I don't know. This doesn't bother me because it's not an ombre. It's all different colors. This is fine. You know. Oh, and this is Aquila. might be uh I mean it just depends if it's an ombre and it's meant to look like an ombre it definitely has to stay like lighter the lightest to the darkest it can't just like all flip flop and do all willy nilly things around and all that that, that no it's got to be like in the way it's supposed to go yes sparkle yes it is it's pretty I did a blanket um, from my mom in another sparkle color, um, Draco, and that was like much softer pastelies, you know, but it was like all the purple, light, 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 extremely light purple, pink, green, blue, very soft tones. Okay, so what else did I get? Oh, and then the second time I went and I got the C Niffer. We hit up the Michaels that time because I had heard that the Red Heart yarn was discontinuing. Blizzard is getting buried in yarn. He'll have to excuse him. He's like, uh, this is my spot, Mom. So, this, I don't know what's going on with Red Heart. You know, I don't know if this is coming back rebranded. I don't know if it's gone for good, but this was clearanced out at Michael's. Red Heart, it's a wrap. And it was all the other ones, too, that if your Michael's had it, they, it was clearanced out for $5. So this is just the regular, it's a wrap. Not the rainbow. So this is just the one strand. And that is about as small of a yarn as I've ever worked with. You know, so I got this blue. Let's see, documentary, and I think I got a couple of that one and a couple of another one. Yeah, I got the the black, very nice neutral palette here. So this would be like if you were making a shawl to go out. You could hold like a nice little sparkle streamer with it too. And hold the two together. Yeah, I know Joe. It's um Nick Nicole from Addicted to Yarn. It's like one of her favorite yarns to work with too. And she went and she did hers shopping too. And she got what she could get. Okay, and then I got this one here, which is Action, which I don't know. Is that like a charcoal gray, or is that a black? Does somebody else have this color? I can't quite tell with the lighting in here. So it's not as dark as this one. Hi, Carrie. This one here, I don't know if I think if it's just like a, a lighter, like an off black. Is there such thing as off black? You think it's brown. It could be, Joe, but it's such a dark brown. It almost looks black, but not quite as black as this one. All right. So those were the Red Heart. It's a wrap that I got. 
What else? Oh, so that was actually my brother. I sent my brother to pick these out. Yes, I sent my brother yarn shopping. <laughs> yeah, all the girls in here are like, what? What are you talking about? Why would men know what to go for with, for yarn? Well, this is how I explain it to them as a dude. Okay? Red Heart. That's the company. It's a wrap. That's the brand of yarn. Hey, TT. So, I said, think of it like a car. This is your car here. So, like a Toyota. And then this here is like the make. You know, a Prius. A, a Toyota Prius. <laughs> That's how I explained it to him. So he would know what to look for and how to find it and all that. So he went and he picked those out for me. And when I got home, I wanted to find the color that nobody seemed to have on any shelves. It's not the really dark and bright pink and purple color which is called romance or romantic or something like that there's a, a softer palette color um with pink and purple and i think it's called drama and that's the one i was trying to find but nobody seemed to have it but as i was shopping there you know you're scanning with your michael's you know app and stuff like that and you're just seeing seeing what's ringing up on sale and what's not well, anytime it says that they can't find the code on your app, I, it makes me suspicious because that tells me that it, chances are it's on sale or it's clearanced out. My sloth, sloth pajamas. So this is what I found. See? And that, this is a Karen Skinny Cake. And I'm sure all of you know the Karen Skinny Cakes are a three weight yarn. And when they change out colors, they discontinue the older colors. Well, these were a seasonal color. And this is chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. And... Ladies, you'll never guess how much this Karen cake costs. How much is this normally at your Michaels? $9.99, $10.99, depending on where you're at, right? This at my Michaels in Connecticut wasn't $9.99, it wasn't $6.99. Yeah, Oreos, yeah. Um, wasn't $3.99 either, ladies. This cake was 99 cents. This was 99 cents. So at the first store, I think I found four of them or five of them. Because look, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight skinny cakes. That's exactly Mama Swift. Once I found, um, like, five at the first store I was like I have to find others of these this color and eight of this color would give me let's see so 795 yards five yards short of 800 eight times eight is 64 so 6400 minus what do we got? One, two, three, eight of them. Eight times five is 40. So 40 yards short of 6,400 yards. I've been 
the whole thing out. <laughs> Actually, I didn't find these, uh, Jen, until I got home to Connecticut. Because I was looking for that other colorway that we found in Alabama. The Rosewater colorway. So, this here is amazing. Show off, math. show off, no, Joe. I just always have been good at numbers. So that was all in the same colorway. I was so excited. And then I found this one last color that they had. You see that, Niff? You see that, John? And this one was frosted blue. And there's enough in here to do like a lightweight shawl or something like that. I wonder since it's so much blue, you might be able to get away with a hat for hat not hate too. On this one. So that was my Michaels hauls. It, when I went home. I wonder what that... I wonder... I don't think I took my other yarn out of it. So that means my other yarn is here somewhere. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I mean, you know, I always try to find yarn on sale or on a discount or... I, I honestly... I put it this way. I don't give myself a yarn budget, right? But I also don't pay full price for any yarn, ever. Because they, they need us. We can find other places to go get yarn. So if you're, you're going to stay and you're going to price up here, I'm not, I'm not going to spend my money. You know, I work too hard for it. So, that's why I look for sales. I look for clearance. I don't buy it if it's not something I'm going to work with. Um, I subscribe to the emails. I get tips from other people. And I just watch. And you kind of, like, if you see that new colors are coming out for something, for a line of yarn, then expect discontinued colors for so it's like a kind of balancing act <laughs> you know so I I always keep in touch with everything I always look I'm always looking for a good sale I'm always looking for clearance I don't I don't give myself like oh I'm gonna allow myself this much money a month in yarn no I don't do that to myself you watch and you enable it. Well, I mean, if it's a really, really good sale, I try not to let it go by without letting people know. Because you never know if they might need that particular yarn. Like, um, anybody that does donations. Four-weight yarn. They're always looking for cheap four-weight acrylic yarn. You know, so if I see something... That's a really good buy. Like, let's take a Karen uh, one pounder, for example. And I know that I can find a sale for it, and it's like $5.50 for a Karen one pounder. I will tell people about it, you know, or anything else, you know. Anything else that I know that people might be looking for, I mean... I'm sure everybody's talking about Hobby Lobby right now and the start of the clearance and all that. And I can't stop because I'm in a truck and I can't check every single Hobby Lobby for clearance. That to, that's not just that's not practical for me. So you will never see like a Hobby Lobby clearance haul for me because I can't I can't do it. But I, if I get it. An email from Premier and it's in a DK anti pilling colors and they're four for ten I'm gonna let my people know you know 
That's that's a great buy. Four for ten for that yarn is amazing. Sweet rolls. They just did it for sweet rolls not that long ago. So it's just you have to kind of like just wait because they're always going to want you to fork up that dough. Um, I don't know. Mama Swift, 10, uh, 10 yarny things about me. Do you mind shooting me the questions while I'm on live here? I'll answer them while I'm sitting here. I mean, I'm pretty sure one of the questions was, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Everybody knows that. I mean, it's purple. Uh, what was uh, another one? What's your favorite style of yarn? Yeah, favorite color is purple. Favorite, yeah, Joe, favorite color. Um, purple, definitely purple. I mean, I don't have a color that I dislike per se. I just am not drawn to certain colors. Uh, favorite weight. You know, that has changed, Madonna. Um, before I started doing these very elaborate hooked on sunshine patterns, I would have told you a bulky five. But now that has changed. My favorite weight of yarn is a DK now. Favorite style? Hmm. I'm not a fan of very loosely plied yarn. So... I like a good twist on my yarn or a roving which is completely unspun does that make sense you know which one I'm talking about those four strands hi <laughs> what's your favorite fiber I like anything that's soft it it I have carpal tunnel so it's um these fingers, all four of them, are always pins and needles. So if I have a funny feeling in my fingers, I can't work with that yarn. What favorite brand can you get easily? Oh, that's Premier. Uh, that's been, I mean, because the other one you can't really get easily anymore, and that was Stitch Studio, and that was when AC Moore existed. Um... But now, uh, now it's, I would say, Premier. I love the Premier anti-pilling. I love the, I love Premier. There's very few Premier yarns that I do not like. Um, when I first started crocheting, all I ever worked with was Red Heart and Karen. Hmm, favorite yarn store, brick and mortar. Well, brick and mortar where I live in Connecticut was easy at one point. I could choose from AC Moore, I could choose from Hobby Lobby, I could choose from Joann's, and I could choose from Michael's at one point. All within 10 minutes of my house. And I always preferred AC Moore. They knew how to throw sales. They were the best. Um, now that AC Moore is gone, I tend to gravitate more towards Joann's because they do better sales as of right now than Michaels. Michaels will see what happens with Apollo and their takeover with them. Hopefully they'll get their sales. Do you keep scrap yarn? Mama Swift, don't spank me. <laughs> I don't need that. No. I really don't. I, I mean, I live in a truck. I, I really... I mean... No. No, I don't. I use as much as I can all the way, you know, and then if I could do something else with it, I'll do it. But those little pieces, you know, 12 inches, 2 feet, no, not really. What is your favorite thing to knit or crochet? Mm, hats for charity, for uh, Hat Not Hate, uh, which is why I have so much blue yarn. And... Very intricate blankets. I've, I've gotten addicted to um, Hooked on Sunshine. If you could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Mama Swift, 
is a big believer of using every single piece of scrap yarn. I can understand that because that's, you know, my person who taught me, she used all of her yarn. There was never any wasting of any yarn, which she made a lot of granny squares. So obviously you can use up all those scrap pieces in a granny square. Um... Well, I would make hats. As long as um, Shira is going to continue her campaign for uh, anti-bullying for Hat Not Hate, I would keep crocheting blue hats. That would be, I mean, because that's never, never a bad thing to do good in the world. And I think... Tell <laughs> tickets for the spanking <laughs> Oh, God. I mean, listen, I, I just can't. I mean, I, this space in this truck is super, super tiny. And Blizzard sheds enough as it is. And then if you have, like, these little pieces of scrap yarn, LOL, everywhere, I mean, oh, my God. I try to make use out of it. I don't. I don't just throw any old thing of scrap out, but, you know, when it gets down to, like, where there's no sense in me tying it in and, and continuing it, because I'm only going to get, like, one little round of stitches that, no. <laughs> oh, now you go pop some tags? I don't, I don't know who to tag. I never would know who to tag. I just, anybody out there that is wanting to answer the 10 yarny questions, because last time I did 10 questions, I accidentally miscounted and I answered more than 10. And I was like, we can make money for sure and selling tickets to my spanking? <laughs> yeah, and I don't make amigurumi. That's probably why I don't uh, keep my scraps, to be honest. Because um, I don't need it for stuffing. You know, I don't... I mean... That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, since internet went down. Um, so, yeah. Ten yarny things about me. That's I'm just crazy. I, I do probably have a little bit of uh, Joe CD in me, because there's just certain things that I can deal with and certain things that I can't deal with, you know. And if it's like, like I said, that purple yarn, that's got to ombre properly. If it doesn't ombre properly, my mind's in a tailspin. <laughs> um, what else, ladies? Any other ideas? Any questions? A little? Yes, Gia. Not bad, though, because the Liliana blanket that I made, I didn't color control that at all. You can ask JoJo on that one. There, wherever, wherever it ended, I tied in a new skein in the same color, and I just let it go. I did not color control that one. Atlanticus, the reason why I'm color controlling this Atlanticus is because the colors are so bold and bright in that yarn color way that I'm using that I mean I tried I tried to just start it and go and go and go and I knew by the fifth round of that I was like oh no this ain't gonna work for me these colors are too bright too bold too dramatic they have to be color controlled the yarn I used for moms, it was so soft, so muted, and it just, fl it was like, just came right off the cake so naturally. Like, honestly, I don't think I'll color control this. Here, this neutral colors. Your head didn't explode. Haha, <laughs> just messing with you. Um, yeah, Mama Swift, I think it had more to do with um you didn't 
bend your thing in the corners, right? Is that what I'm not? Like when you started your new cake, it was like in the middle of the the round, the middle of the row. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I I'm wondering if that might not have had something to do with it. Like if you knew you were coming to the end. Like I mean, I think I I I don't even remember. I I know I remember seeing you just tying it in. But. Like, when I tied mine in, it didn't create that jagged edge going up. So, um, what are we thinking, ladies? Should I, uh, do, um, Yaya's boy with this? And maybe, uh, give it to Jaxie and Mama Swift for their auction? Three, three Yaya's? Or do you not think I can get it done in time? I think this would be, this is, this would be gorgeous in a hooked on sunshine. <gasps> Mama Swift says yes. Oh, I better get to hooking. Then what do we, I think I'm going to get off this live because this is longer than I normally go for a video of mine. And I'm going to start Yaya's boy. I think I'm going to pull from this outside color. Tag sin. Sin's already been tagged, I thought. What do, you, what do we think? Start from the center? That light color right there and go out? All the way down in there? This, that, 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 that. I think that's what I'll do. Alright, I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. I have been. That's what I thought. That's why I'm not tagging any, anybody. Let's say, it's a free for all. Boom, boom, boom. It's a free for all. Whoever wants to do the 10 yarny things about them, tag your it. All right, everybody. Oh, we'll say goodbye. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Bye. All right. Blizzard saying goodbye. Right, BB? What's our tag? Remember to enjoy your coffee, enjoy your crochet, and certainly enjoy your cuddles. Bye, everybody. Love you. See you soon. Okay. Mama needs a bag because of.